Welcome back, everyone, to more Echelon Book One. That's right, here we are. We haven't done any alchemy yet. Let's test out alchemy. How does alchemy work? So you can just right click on a reagent and we need a vessel, a reagent, and a reactant. Booyah! So at level 10, we can make Mana Potion 3. What does Mana Potion 3 do? Well, it's the best fucking Mana Potion you can make. So we're gonna go ahead and make Mana Potions here. Because we want them. We need them. Yeah, as long as we're finding Mandrake Root and Acid, we can keep making the best mana potions in the fucking game, y'all. We're gonna keep a nice little stack down there for now. Keep saving those up. Uh, so Alchemy 10 is pretty much... We, we actually want to get to 15 because at Alchemy 15, you can, you can start uh, imbuing plus up to plus three on your weapons and armor. Now, while we are a magic user cleric class, it's still going to be beneficial to have plus three armor on our different armor pieces. And since we've decided to get a backup sword, it'll be nice to have plus three on that as well. So I decided that I think we're going to pump a couple skill points into alchemy, grab another brewmaster ring, that will bring us up to, to 15, and we'll be good to go. So that's how alchemy works. Are there other potions we can make? Probably. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just stash my reagents somewhere for now. Of course, we've got everything in Border Town. Again, I wish they would have made a spot where you could just lay all your shit out. You know, like 15 chesticles. But there doesn't seem to be one. And I definitely don't want to spread it all over town here, because I could run into an issue if we do that. Anyways, what do we got going on here in the little questicle sheet? I'm trying to see what else we can make here. Belladonna, this will be a good one. Gives us a detox serum. Those are always good. What else can we make? Well, if we were uh, 15 alchemy, we can make demon oil 3 with some ambergris and sulfur. I think we're going to get to a point where we can just kind of get rid of some of these ingredients. The biggest ones that we want, obviously, as a mage are going to be mandrake root and acid. Uh, we can make healing 3 potions with sulfur and willow sap. We can make potions of ogre strength with jelly fungus and bromine uh, so there's a lot of shit we can make the question is do we really need to make it the answer is probably not anyways let's focus on some questicles thing I wanted to test out here was my uh, <laughs> my flask of incinerator fuel. I never got to throw it at anyone. Holy shit fuck! like that. We like that. We definitely want to save that for a special occasion, though.
we got the locket, so we can return that to uh, the tavern owner in Border Town. I found the locket. Is this it? Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't express how happy I am to see this locket again. Well, as promised, here's 200 gold. make potions and sell them it's not a bad idea it's another way to make to make some money Put that down. Go check out my shit, make sure it's still here. Alright, got our big fat rubies, which I don't think we need. Got all of our books. Find our brother. What else do we need? We need to find an apple. Chainmail leggings. Oh, I've been I've been spotted. Um, I need to get the invisibility spell. Let's see. How do we make invisibility potions? Ectoplasm and charcoal. Ectoplasm is the most important ingredient there is. Man, it changed. Fucking changed. I don't care about pick locks. That was a thousand gold pants right there. We already got fireball. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Steel plate armor, the Zen amulet, meditation. Completely useless for us because we're going to have enough perception. But it's going to cap our regenerate. So 
So let's go ahead and make money off of that. Boom shakalaka! Try to do this and take the crucible to black water. We're gonna need some ogre strength potions. What do we need to make ogre strength? Jelly fungus and bromine. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how far we can get. Great, the crucible is over in the chest next to the furnace. It's not very big, but it's made of dense ceramic and very heavy. Remember to lift with your legs when you pick it up, or you'll throw your back out. Good luck. Gotta see how long this potion of ogre strength lasts us. It's doing pretty well. You obviously want to have the way cleared before you attempt doing this as well. You're, you're wasting even more turns if not. Just depends how you're doing it. If you got a fighter with enough strength, then it really doesn't matter. But as a mage, things get a little bit more tricky because we probably haven't invested a lot of attributes into strength. As you can see, you cannot fast travel while carrying the ceramic crucible. I'm not going to let you get off that easy. Still have more area here we need to explore. The nice thing is we get to recycle. Our empty flask. Let's 
We could have done the same thing with the ogre, uh, giant ogre strength spell or whatever, but whatever. I don't think I bought the spell yet. Figured we'd aggro someone, but... <laughs> okay, it's gonna take us one more... One more mixture here. Which is good, because we're getting low. Back up my shit. I have with me a ceramic crucible that Eric of Bordertown asked me to bring you. Good God, son, you carried this damn thing all the way from Bordertown on your back? Gunther help you. Gunther helps you set it on the ground. It reaches the floor with a deep thud. Raising the dust that had long settled between the floorboards. Well, Eric had set the delivery charge on this at 600 gold. So I guess you're the man who gets it. Here you go. You deserve every bit of it. And we got a thousand XP. Definitely worth it. 600 gold and a thousand XP. Give it to me, baby. Give it, give it to me. Ah! Uh. Skinny knife. Okay. Another quest go completed. Okay, good. Shame it doesn't make it uh, brighter as well. Twenty eight strength that gives me. 134 encumbrance. That's nice. That's that strong shit. So Gunther wants us to go get Divine Ore. Goblin Citadel, I don't think we're going there anytime soon. Southern Tangle Tree region. Uh, we could go kill Lilith. That's kind of what we were thinking of doing the other time. Let's go finish exploring the, those neck of the woods and then uh, I think we're going to take Lilith out. Seeing that we are a nefarious evil character, I don't feel the least bit bad about it, do you? You shouldn't. This asshole, however... go ahead and map some of this region out while we're here. It really doesn't look to be much here, so... We 
I'm gonna map it out for mapping out's sake. Well, we found a band of assholes. It's a great way to waste a shitload of um, magic. I just wanted a reason to rest. And getting MP back is a good reason. Really no nothing to search there, huh? Oh, there's a barrel. Longbow worth 750 gold. Fire Dart is, of course, our mainstay spell here. Get the fuck out of here. Ron Stock bringing the pain. Fire in there. All right, we got this bottom half searched. We can always do the top half later, no rush. Let's keep things moving. Let's go check out this fire that we saw though. Just from the initial bandits that were here when we first came through. We're back in a central tangle tangle nut forest. We'll go ahead and map this out because there's not much more to do. And I like fucking up bees.
Western Salted Coast. Another area there to explore. We might be at max mana regeneration already. I was reading that three steps, a guy had 85 perception and he was only getting mana every three steps. Well, one, two, three. One, two, three. We're getting it at three steps now, so. If I put two and two together, sounds like we might be at the cap. Which means at this point, we just want to figure out ways to get more mana. He also said he had 400 mana points, which would be fucking nice. But he was obviously a uh, higher level than, than 9. He was probably in the 18s or some shit. All right, so we just have this little area to explore, and then we're gonna go talk to Lilith. We have to have a conversation. Now, fighting Lilith will be interesting because I've seen her beat the shit out of a mob of bees, so. We're gonna wanna go in full mana and blast that hoe. that cocksucker. Honeycomb hideout. At this point, I kind of want to get rid of my shitty mana one potions, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be using them too much. And I want to start moving to mana two and three potions. Honestly, we're just gonna start making mana three potions. We need to buy all the mandrake root and acid that we ever find, because that's a hot fucking commodity. So, you know what? Fuck it. I'm drinking all that shit. I'm dropping these bad boys down there. I'm not even fucking with mana one potions anymore. Mana two or get the boo. I'm too bougie for mana one potions. Alright, we found a, a dead body at the camp here, who is going to have a scroll of charm and a copper ring, and apparently I got rusty knuckles. How do you cure rusty fucking knuckles? Belladonna and charcoal. Let's try this. I gotta remember to put my uh, ring on. Wait, 
Okay, go ahead. Never mind. Looks like randomly came with a disease as well. Belladonna, yeah, fuck yeah, we'll take Belladonna, that's a good reagent. Mandrake root! Fuck it, let's take it, we need it. Mandrake root and acid. It's hard to turn down, because we want to save up as many uh, mana three potions as we can, especially for the end game content. We would just want to plow through it. I don't want to be running around like a pixie. Like fucking Tinkerbell running from enemies and shit. I just want to quaff mana potions and blast bitches. You notice the regular potions have no rings, the tier twos have one ring, and the tier threes have double gold rings on them. That's how you can tell visually. Alright. This isn't her house. I need to go north. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Walked all this way for nothing. We need to go back to North Tangle Tree. But this whole area is officially mapped out. That is it. percent mapped out as well. Now if we can't take her out with fire dart we're just going to switch to Fireball, which will do twice as much damage. But let's see what happens. It's probably still over here chilling like an idiot. I'm here to rob you, wench. Pray I do not take your life as well as your gold. Oh, really? I find it humorous and pathetic. A mongrel such as yourself has accidentally chosen to threaten me. Lilith draws a rather nasty-looking straight razor from the sash around her waist and flips it quickly through her fingers, displaying impressive skill. You suddenly feel as if you, you've made a very bad mistake. I hope you've enjoyed the life you've led up until now, because it's about to end. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking to, bitch? Well, you gotta be all resistant and shit. What did that feel, hooker? I'm gonna reload because I want to double up on that. That bitch is worth 400 XP.
Saved, she saved against it after she was dead. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm saved in there. I don't give a fuck. You gotta do it with fire dart, that's like the <laughs> best way. It's quick enough that you can get that second one off. There we go. Double that XP. Bitch, give me your shit! Ah, an amulet. Guess where I wanna go back to. The repository. Some of the classical literature. I don't think she has anything else that we need. So yeah, we could go and talk to Homeboy. Right here, the shady character. He thinks this amulet is proof of our success. I think this amulet is gonna let us open her vault in the repository and give us something of greater value. Actually, kill everyone down here in the repository for uh, XP if you want, but I don't know. It's just not my style to, to fuck games up like that. Fifteen. Here we are, the Divine or Greatsword. Shit is mine now. Alright, now let's see what this says about casting. Due to the somatic requirement of casting a spell and your current strength, you're able only to hold four pounds while casting. Remove so if we increase our strength, as uh, subscriber Steven brought to my attention. We might be able to cast with a sword in our hand, which would totally be badass if we did that. 
with this particular weapon because it is the strongest sword in the game. Plus we can imbue it with plus three damage eventually. It was granted, we're just a mage. But still. The problem is, is that it weighs 12 pounds. <laughs> so, we would probably need a lot of fucking strength to be able to use it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure we want to go that route. However, if our perception is truly maxed, and we're not going to get any better mana regeneration, why not put some of it into strength? You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying here? It's my understanding that we want to get our divination and elemental up to 26. Uh, and then through the books, which we've already done with divination. Uh, we still need to find the elemental book. We, we basically want these to max out at 31. That gives us the ability to cast all spells at level 6. But, here's the thing. We can do my other trick that I thought of. We can have the sword, press enter. Now we can cast spells. As soon as someone gets close, press enter, boom, we got the sword for close combat. Can't cast spells anymore, but we can hack them up with the, the best sword in the game. Or we can sell the sword for a lot of money. The bottom line is, is I can swing this son of a bitch. As you can see, it has got some crazy base damage of 11. We have plus 3 to that. It's doing 14 base damage. We're really going to be swacking shit. between that and the, the dagger for now, really. But why would I bother? I think that's the way to go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put points into being proficient with short bladed weapons. Especially because I've already invested into swords. Once we find the sword skill book we're gonna be at seven. We have to see how we fare with the sword at close combat. So if we're hitting with it, that'll be a great out of mana weapon. Of course, I guess the end game is to never run out of mana. Anyways, that's the best sword in the game. Totally worth killing a chick over. This guy's about to get mad. And thus we're probably about to have to fuck him up. Well, that's the guard. I have killed Lilith. Here is her amulet. Well, well. I wasn't sure you'd be capable of completing this task. He looks around to ensure no one is watching before taking the amulet from your hand and stuffing it into his shirt pocket. He then draws out a large pouch of coins. A deal's a deal, even among us unscrupulous. He places the coin bag in your hand. Now leave. We never had this conversation. So not only did we go steal the sword, we also got the experience and the gold from this dingleberry. It's just a win-win situation all around, folks. Alright, I think we can afford our other Brewmaster Ring and some spells now.
We definitely want ectoplasm. Um, stone skin, I don't know if we need. Enchant weapon. Might be able to find the rest of these also. greater disease that's what I was gonna make is he the one that had the brewmaster ring and I hope he didn't get rid of that I wanted that case I fucked up and I should have bought it then and there. Alright, we're down to just one sheet on the quest journal. These shop owners change what they sell every couple days or every time you uh, enter the area. Where do we go to now? I think we should head to Vela. See if we can find my good old brother. Apparently you have to be careful here because there is the chance your brother can be killed before you get to him in time. fucks you out of a lot of experience and other quests to do. You can still complete the game. But we really don't want that to happen. Without warning, a group of mercenaries appear from a dense patch of shrubs alongside the road. They quickly surround you, cutting off your escape. One of the men approaches you. Well, hello there, friend. Do you remember me? I'm the guy back in Blackwater who paid you to bring me back a pendant from Lilith. Do you know what I just discovered? I just discovered that you helped yourself to some property down in the repository that belonged to me. The man raises the tip of his sword to your chesticle. There is really no need to lie about it because the Vault Master has already identified you as the person who opened Vault 15. That vault and everything in it belongs to me. Yep, that was me! <laughs> <laughs> that was me, dipshit. The equipment is mine now. The man laughs. 
Well, at least he's honest about it. He yells to the other mercenaries who chuckle in response. Unfortunately for you, I'll be taking back my property now. The group of assassins move in closer. This isn't going to be, be very pleasant for you. Oh, how dare you fucking attack. Motherfucking Ron stock like that. Fucking dare you! Man, is this the first time we died died? As you fall to the ground, you suddenly feel your very essence ripped from the shell of your body. In an instant, you find yourself standing on the precipice of eternity, an incoherent wailing emanating from the abyss below. You smile as you tumble forward into the black chasm. Motherfucker. Alright, this time he, bat he uh, ambushed me over here. He's got the he's got the big guys on his team. beat this guy's ass. I don't give a fuck if it's the last thing I do. I guess stone skin would be good now. I can take him right back to the guards though. Cards, man. You guys are pretty fucking badass.
Well, unfortunately for the two guards, they got slaughtered. Not my fucking problem. Does it affect the game? No, not in the least bit. They're just dead, and they won't ever be back. Okay. About to get fucked up by some, some gobos. place to rest apparently. Bidoki. So yeah, you got to deal with that guy. He wants his uh, he wants his fucking sword back. He probably he probably tries to kill you anyways, but he wants his he wants his divine great or or sword. Uh, but we're not giving it to him. And there's this dickhead buddy that did not get to heal, and we're gonna take full advantage of that fact. Thank you very much. Speaking of heal, I'm feeling fucking groovy. That's why it's good to be a mage and a cleric all at once. Those guys are doing too much damage to even bother trying to heal between combat so yeah we had to bust out the big guns and use a couple pouts but that's what the pouts are for I think we could have also went invisible and fucked him up that way what the fuck is he really back I killed you bro some kind of whack ass bug in the game I'll take the XP. Well, that's cheap as fuck. Gods! Oh, 
I'm still no good with this sword. These are some of the better fighters right now, though. <laughs> there are no longer any guards. Oh, shit. perception because that's going to give us a big boost to uh, magic points. I know that we want to take a look at strength, but right now we definitely want to focus on getting as much mana as possible. And that every five points in perception is going to give us uh, it's going to give us a point per level in mana. So go ahead and do some more divination. Pump that up. That'll be the most we do in that. Then we could do our two in alchemy. If we bring this to nine, we get both the rings, we'll be able to enchant all of our armor and stuff. I like it. I'm gonna go with that. So yeah, now you can see our maximum mana points have increased by 12. Getting those those big mana buffs. And if we can get one more brewmaster ring, we can start making all of our armor and weapons plus three. Which is going to help, as you can see, because we could probably use all the all the buffs we could get to armor, especially. Now this cocksucker better not show up with any of his friends again. Go ahead and get a, a quick 500 XP off of his dumb ass. Had to kill him twice. Pretty interesting. Ronstock is now level 10, he's a senior artisan. Kicking ass and taking names. I think we'll stray away from putting anything into strength because I have a bad feeling that it's going to take a lot of strength to cast with a 12 pound sword. And I'd rather have huge amounts of mana. Anyways, that wraps it up for this video, folks. Stay tuned for Vela. Let's hope we can get to our brother and rescue him in time. And I'll see you in the next video.